I will show you the technique that is key to solving Sudoku puzzles with no marks. I'll also give you some bonus tips and tricks along the way to solving the green cell. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Let's start with cross hatching. Even though it's not the key technique that I'll reveal to you later, it's quite helpful in solving Sudoku without marks. Where can a one go here in block one? Got one here, got a one here. Only place for a one is right there. Now let's look here in block five. Where can a two go? You have a two here in row four, in row six, and in columns four and six. When you already have four of the same digit looking into a block, you know there's only going to be one possibility left. You can solve that for a two. Greetings, friend. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe and tap the bell for notifications if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. Today I'm showing you how to solve round three, puzzle two of the 2024 Sudoku Grand Prix without marks. This puzzle is rated 376 easy by Hadoku. It's a web-based app that assigns points to strategies based on difficulty. Any puzzle rated below 500 is considered easy. Look now in block seven. We're talking about cross hatching right now. You got these two threes, you got these two threes. We know we can solve this cell for a three in the corner. Nice job. It's time for a bonus technique. I call my neat naked triple trick. Look here in column six. You have six digits filled out. All we need now is a one, three, and a four. Whenever you have two of those digits looking at one of the empty cells, in this case, a one and a three, and then one of those is repeated in another cell, in this case, the three, you know you can solve all three cells because this has to be your four. The only place the three can go is right there, and this is going to be your one. All right, now let's look at the four. So you got these two fours here, and this four, we can solve a four up here. And you want to stay now in block two. We just solved this four, which means now with these two ones, there's only one place for one in block two. We're going to try to fill out this whole block. Let's see if we can do it. We need now is just a three, five, and six. Well, I see a five cutting across right here, and then it covers two of the cells, and a three looks in one of those same cells. The neat naked triple trick will work here as well. And this isn't the key technique I'm going to show you, but it's super helpful for getting you some early solves in a puzzle because we know this has to be your six the only place the five goes right there and this is going to be your three you may be able to improve your sudoku skills faster than you think click on the pinned comment join the smarty party i'm going to send you exclusive monthly puzzle packs other exclusive content to help you solve sudoku faster and you want to solve sudoku faster right let's switch to the sevens now you have this seven right here and you have this seven right here we we're already in block two, and it's very easy to see that you have the two sevens looking into block one, so we can solve this cell for a seven. And then with this seven and this seven, we can solve this cell for a seven as well. And then with these two sevens, we can solve for a seven right here. We're really filling up the grid. We're not to that main key technique yet. I promise it will help you solve this puzzle much faster when we get to it. Let's go back to the ones. Where can a one go here in block five? Got these two ones. This one, we can solve for a one right there. And then with these two ones and this one, we can solve for a one here in block nine. Now let's look at the sixes. This is another bonus tip that you'll find a lot in puzzles. And you can do this without marking and still be quick. You'll notice that the sixes will be limited to one of these two spots. I'm going to mark it for you and color it just to show you uh, what I'm talking about here. But I don't, you don't need to. Mark this in blue to color uh, to do the solve here. But this is called a pointing pair. Since a six cannot be in these cells, it has to be one of these two cells. A six is limited in block four to row four. So a six cannot be anywhere else along row four outside the block. You cannot have a six here anymore. And so then you have what would be a six has to be one of these spots. You have this six here and this six. We can solve this cell now for a six using that pointing pair. You will see these quite a bit. And you can solve no mark, no problem using some pointing pairs. So another bonus tip for you. And you should share this video with someone who likes Sudoku. See if they can solve it without marks. Another thing we can do with these sixes, with these two sixes here, you'll notice where can a six go in column 
two. Can't go here because of that six. Can't go here because of that six. So instead of a pointing pair, we actually can just solve for six right there in block four. And let's look at the twos. We got two right here. Can't be in those cells. We have another pointing pair of twos. I'll color it just so you can see it. So now a two can't be anywhere else along column three outside that block. And with this two and this two, we can now solve for two here in block seven. Okay, so the pointing pair is very helpful. You'll see them quite a bit. Not the key technique I'm about to show you, but this is going to help us out. Okay, now with this two and this two and this two, we can solve for two in block nine. And then with the sevens, with these two sevens, we can solve for a seven in block nine. And then follow your eyes up with these two sevens and these two sevens, we can solve for seven right there in block three. And then we just reduce row two to two cells remaining. We only need a two and a nine. Well, I see a two right here. We know this has to be your nine and that has to be your two. And then with this two and this two, now and the two right there, we can solve this cell for two in block three. We're really reducing the number of cells here in block three. And now we only have a five and an eight remaining in column nine. What can we do about that? Well, you'll notice that you have a five here and a five there. We can actually solve this cell for five, meaning this cell has to be your eight. So now we're getting close to solving this green cell and showing you that main technique. We're going to use the neat naked triple trick again to help us with row four. We just filled out, we have six cells here. We need a four, five, and a nine. So I got a four to five looking at this cell. And then a five repeated looking at this cell. We can solve all three. That's going to be your nine. That's going to be your four. And the only place a five can go is right there. And if you like these tips, consider buying me a coffee or just click on the super thanks here in YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. Let's look in column five now. We only have two cells remaining. We have seven filled out. We need a six and an eight. An eight's right here. That's going to be your eight. And that's going to be your six. Putting a lot of pressure now on row eight so if we just move over and we need a four and a nine to finish row eight well i got four right here i'm going to pull it down from block four so there's your four and there is your nine and then what we need to finish block seven we want to just kind of stay right here and go hey we need a five and a six well i see my six i can pull that down for block four so that's going to be your five and that's going to be your six okay what can i do here now in block eight all i need is a nine and a five well i just solved the five right there so there's your five and there's your nine so we just completed this block we just completed this block we can go up here and easily finish block five with an eight let's finish row six with this nine and now it's time i reveal the key technique to you i've shown you pieces of it along the way you want to get good at filling out individual blocks in the puzzle and then moving next to that block. This is called clumping. This is what the experts do. It's highly effective in no mark solves because you keep a high level working memory and you can reduce your length of scanning, how far you have to look in the puzzle. Let's try it here in block nine. Okay, we're just missing a four, eight, and a nine. Well, I got the eight covering two cells and then the nine looks at one of the same cells. So we can use that neat naked triple trick to solve all three cells. We know the four's got to be there. Only place the eight goes is right there, and that's going to be the nine. So we just clumped and finished block nine. And now we can work our way up to block six. We just finished the four right there. We know that's got to be a four, and that's going to be your three. And then we can work our way up to block three. See how we're just moving very small, but we just covered all of these blocks. We need a three, six, eight up here. Okay, so we have the three and the six looking at this cell. And then the three is looking at that one, repeat it, another neat naked triple trick. Because what we know is this has to be your eight in that green cell. The only place the three goes is right there, and this is going to be your six. Boom, we just clumped block three. Let's block, clump block one. When we know we have a full house, the first thing to start would be eight right there. And we just need a six and a nine. I'm going to pull the six up from block seven. So there's your six, and there's your nine and then we have one block remaining i see a one two three four six seven we need a five eight nine 
quick scan will tell me that I have a 5 and a 9 right here, and then the 5 is repeated. We can solve all three cells. That's got to be your 8. The only place the 5 goes is right there, and our last digit is a 9. Challenge yourself to use clumping to solve this next puzzle without marks. Thank you so much for watching.